If you're a hockey player and you're struggling to get through the first period without your legs feeling incredibly heavy and you're just sucking wind and you feel like you're gonna die, well, it's probably because you have a low lactate threshold. My name is Dr. Jamie Phillips. I'm a former professional hockey player. I'm a doctor of physical therapy. I own Ghost Rehab Performance Hockey Specific Training Center in Grand Rapids, Michigan. So our lactate threshold, to put it simply, is our ability to prolong that burning sensation in our legs, that buildup of lactic acid and the hydrogen atoms in our leg where we just can't move those muscles anymore and we die out. So by building up our lactate threshold, we're going to be able to skate faster for longer throughout the entire game. If you do this circuit, even if it's just once a week, you're going to be faster on the ice, stronger on the ice, you're not going to burn out and you're going to be that go-to player that your coach can lean on in the third period to get the job done. The first is a stationary bike. Now when doing lactate threshold work, there's a couple different ways to measure your blood lactate and you can use a finger prick, which is a lot of work. You can use a heart rate monitor. So I'm gonna use my Apple watch to get a specific heart rate or what we're gonna do today is RPE or rate of perceived exertion. In RPE for the sake of this exercise, 10 is the hardest we've ever worked for anything in our life. One is nothing, we're just standing here perfectly at rest. The goal is to be somewhere around a seven and an eight. So when we hop on the bike and we start pedaling, we're not gonna count any of the time until we start to get that buildup or that heavy sensation on our legs. Once we get that heavy sensation on our legs, we're gonna wanna back off a tiny bit and then maintain that for five minutes. So if I'm biking here and this is easy and after a certain amount of time, so let's just say after two minutes, I find a good resistance and it's like, oh, my legs are starting to get heavy. I'm gonna back down the tiniest bit and then I'm just gonna maintain that for five. Now the goal with lactate threshold training is we're trying to raise the ceiling or the time and the intensity that it takes for us to get to that burning sensation where our legs just can't work anymore. So if we get there and we burn out, we're not really building up our ability to clear out the waste product. So we wanna be just below that point of absolute burnout. As soon as we've hit five minutes on the bike, we're gonna to come to a sled. We're gonna do a backwards sled drag. This is gonna hammer the quads. Hockey players are incredibly quad dominant, so the front of our legs. So we're gonna find the weight that is, again, going to be challenging where we feel that burn, but we're not going through that ceiling where our legs just give up and I have to stop. I wanna dial right back. And we're gonna find a weight and we're gonna do a backwards sled drag for two minutes continuous. As soon as you finish your two minutes, you're gonna drop, you're going to go right into walking lunges. Now, for depending on what your goal is, you can do time, you can do distance. For this, we're gonna do one minute of walking lunges, just continuous, knee just kisses the ground. Our legs should be so full of blood, we should be getting close to that burning sensation. If during the lunges, I'm about to go through that ceiling, I can stop, shake it out, let it come down, and then work at an intensity where I'm not busting through. Now, if, my, if I have my elite athletes doing this, oftentimes they'll wear a weight vest or carry weights, have a weight in their back in order to get them to that ceiling. So we're gonna lunge for a minute. As soon as you hit that minute, or 50 meters, 100 meters, 400 meters, whatever you're training, we go right back to the bike. We're gonna do all three of these exercises for a total of 30 to 45 minutes. We really need to work on that aerobic capacity, pushing our lactate threshold, that ceiling up. When doing our lactate threshold training in a heavy circuit series like this for a long duration, it helps us build that ceiling that we've been talking about. So the ability to push, push, push without burning out. When we do intense outputs, like we're on the assault bike with intensity for 15, 20, 30 seconds, and then rest, that's what's allowing us to build the floor. So we wanna both build the ceiling and the floor of our training. Talking about building up that lactate threshold floor is in another video. If you do this circuit, even if it's just once a week, you're gonna be faster on the ice, stronger on the ice, you're not gonna burn out, and you're gonna be that go-to player that your coach can lean on in the third period to get the job done. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment. If you're looking for training programs, there's a link below in the description. We appreciate you guys, and we look forward to the next video.